Hi, in this video we will talk about how to use drop down menu in MATLAB GUI. Open MATLAB. Type guide to open the editor for graphical user interface. And we will open our existing one so that we can continue from where we left. So till now we have discussed about access, push buttons and uh, the added text. Now the next thing uh, which we will talk about the pop-up menu. So pop-up menu is generally used if we want to select uh, one option out of various other options. So similarly last, uh, last time first we will go into the details of it and again the most important thing of uh, this pop-up menu is the string uh, value where we can put the number of options which we want to be displayed at the time of running of this uh, uh, this uh, uh, GUI. So our uh, simplest one is uh, like uh, suppose we are putting sign cos random okay and we are changing the tag of this pop-up menu to test underscore pop so these were the uh, two major changes which we need to do so now if we uh, try and run it uh, we can also change the size of the text to 10 so now it is a uh, little uh, bigger than the last one so now we will run it and with a drop down menu then all those uh, options are coming here which we have put into the string field of it now we want uh, one thing like when we press this sign button a uh, sine wave is being generated here when we press cos a cos wave is being generated there and we press random a random wave is going to generate there so for doing that uh, for doing that first we need to know what is happening behind the scene when we are uh, selecting sign or cos or random wave so for that first we need to know how this uh, pop-up menu is passing uh, any specific value to the uh, programming part so that it can identify or it can distinguish between the selections of different uh, or between the different selections so we will go to the callback of this pop-up menu and we will create a variable a and we will get some trend values of it like same last one handles dot test underscore pop and we will check the value property of it and let's see what happens there so now we will run it and if we press sign uh, wait a minute okay uh, my mistake it's pop now if we select sign it returns one if we select pause it returns two and if we select random at return state so now we came to know that uh, if we select uh, uh, depending on the order uh, sign it will return value 1 so depending on uh, if we select cause it will return value 2 and if we select random it will return the value 3 so depending on this condition we can uh, further uh, 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 for we can go further for writing our main program so now we know a will get one if we uh, get sign so first we'll create a time span so that in order to so now if a statement like if a is equals to equals to one no equals to equals to one then uh, plot simply uh, sign of and else if a is equal to equal to 2 
it will plot cos of n else it will generate a random wave plot rand of 100 comma 1 and then n. so now we will run our main program so now if we select sine a sine wave half sine wave is being generated there cos half and then random random so we will do certain changes instead of this one we will make it up to pi so hope so it will uh, change yeah we need to make it to pi for creating a complete uh, span of it uh, so sine a complete sine wave is being there cos cosine wave is being generated there and on random a random wave is being generated there and if we press again push button a random wave because uh, this is the previous one programming and Sachin Sharma is being there if we press JCBRO image is there and welcome sign is there and cos this one so this is how we can interface uh, uh, this uh, pop-up menu and we can design various application in which depending on the certain uh, selection of the pop-up menu we can do any further changes into the respective field uh, again depending on our applications so through this way we can easily uh, use our uh, pop-up menu with our existing GUI without affecting any other value so that that's it for this video thank you